Uh, usually Shielders runs you die very often in a Sector 1 or a mid game against drones or flagship. But I mean, I, I can't play Shielders run for too long. Like, I'm definitely not doing a week of Shielders runs. Heavy laser is pretty dangerous for this. Yep, triple later there. Jesus. I had to wait for all my shot. That was was a quick repair. Keep it on just. Okay, good. Only 6 damage first beacon. Pretty good for shieldless. Other challenge runs that I call the attempt are uh, uh, this trick with uh, without the uh, top tier weapons. We call I could try that eventually tomorrow. Ooh. Or if you guys have other ideas, let me know. Then maybe we can go for a vote. You see how often they target weapons when you play shieldless. It's actually pretty impressive. Because normally, most of the shots that are targeting weapons are absorbed by shields anyway. But now you can clearly see how bad it can be. Zoltan to shield for smart targeting? Maybe. Is that a play? Is that considered uh, cheating? I don't know. Probably. Are this just beacon even good? There are so many distress beacons that it's just random damage. Oh god. Drones and mini beam. Well. This is fine, don't worry. Okay. 16. We want to survive until we get Hacking, I guess. Upgrading these weapons will be problematic. You know what? I'm doing this. I'm a believer. Ah. Oh, not bad. Shit. Am I dead? Stop. We, we shall be fine, we shall be fine. They try to iron my mantis. Unbelievable. One, two, three, four, five. 
One more. Can I survive one more? You have to be greedy, Sector 1. I think. Otherwise, you'll die anyway. Hmm. Sell that. I will just upgrade. Or buy battery and repairs instead. I like that more. Okay. A battery is mostly to remove... Uh, Ooh, I mean, it's just storage cash. I'll go for it. Easy. Three damage. This is worth it. Well, assuming there is something in there. Sixteen plus eight. It's technically still worth it. Yeah, whatever. Distress beacon. We we have nothing for distress beacons. Ooh. It's fine, it's just the mini beam here. Energy priority repairs though. It's gonna suck. I think you have to wait every time. That's pretty good. We might go drones early. I don't know though, because... Uh, usually pushing defenses for killers is actually not good. And you just want to upgrade your offense as much as possible. Come on, really? And damage already after full repairing. If I don't miss, they just die. Nice. Okay, Zoltan or Abandoned? Abandoned is good. Let's go there. Uh, no Distress Beacons, especially in this sector. I'm keeping 80 scrap for um, hacking. Power battery, so maybe gains targeting priority. Actually, I have no clue, but hey, maybe. How do I get out of fire? It's V. That's the normal lucky. You can change it though. Um one more then we check the store. We're, we want hacking here. Oh god. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, if this was a normal run, it will be over already. I guess I'll, I'll take the Distress Beacon. Yeah, okay, I have to take the Distress Beacon. Um, am I ever going drones for this? I mean, yes, it's a possibility. I might do this as well, and fuck, I'll sell uh, the, the basic. So I can repair. It just slightly is lower. Now we want to go back to 80s crop. To afford hacking. Use this guy. I don't know what's happening. So far it's a good start, but again, anything can kill us. Also surprised we haven't got Azar Beacon yet. Okay, no drones. Doesn't attack weapons. Oh no, shield attack. Unlock. Finish here, go back there, go to heal. If I need scrap for rocking, I'll sell the defense too, though. They always roll defensive drones. I haven't had a single uh, rigor with defense drones. It's okay, it's okay. Let me move this guy out. This is faster. Fifty-three. So this is the last chance for a store. The best the setups is triple beam one shot, obviously for shieldless. But another good setup is with. Very good weapons, offensive drones, and then something like stealth weapons. Do it this way. Disappointing uh, beacons. Anything at the exit? Um... I'll go for three, but that's kind of questionable, honestly. Uncharted Orange, Genji is good, we will be forced here, but whatever. Getting free stuff is nice for shielders, just like in speedy runs. It's always nice, but...
reactor, sure. I have two floating reactor bars and then a battery. Five damage. Ooh, what is this? Hold beam. Okay, hold beam it's very, very good. Not not right now. But eventually. If we get a triple beam set up. Charge laser. Vulcan. Yeah, you don't want to play Vulcan with Shieldless. Yeah, not not that one. That that one is not good. Try to get stuff before the other store. It's fine. This is fine. Okay, maybe it's not that fine. Okay, they're dead. Is there a mod in use to start with no shield? Yes. It's the only thing that it does. It just remove uh, it removes shield. Like you still have the system, so you're actually the ship. Body breaks shield, so it's to avoid powering up uh, this thing uh, when you don't want to, essentially. It's easy to make the mistake and put power in there, so the mods prevents that. It could also happen if, uh, let's say you get to Zoltans, and then you you have to move them through this, do to, through this room, so you're powering up shields when you're not supposed to. It's to avoid those kind of issues. But outside of that, nothing else changed. Everything else is the same. Heavy 2. I don't know. Like, it will be slightly better right now, but... <sighs> Barely. I don't think it's it it's worth it. Yeah, I'm, I don't think so. I'm doing this for now. It lay out unfortunately, but it's okay. Engines hack. Nice. Uh, what's happening? Ooh, only this guy. That guy's dead. Okay, not not yet. What about now? Sector four with no systems. As the shield is run. Well, let's see. Let the devs miss an opportunity to include this officially as a challenge and achievement. I mean... Like, Shieldless... There is a lot of RNG involved with Shieldless. Okay, Shieldless it's fine if you play stealth ships or Zoltan ships. Any other ship Shieldless is just a RNG fest. You can die so easily. Like, anywhere. Like, I'm full hull, I have good weapons, I could die next to Beacon. And the entire run it's that way.
I want the cash. That heavy laser is also very, very scary. Just dodge, right? Can die if you dodge. Please. I'll be fine now. That was worth it. Still in the repair training. A challenge, uh, I mean, uh, this kind of challenge runs are cool, but it's something that I don't like doing often because, um, again, the RNG aspect is very high. It obviously requires knowledge of the game and a degree of skill, but there is a lot of RNG, like in avoiding this beacon with this ship. Yes, what the fuck? Please. He's supposed to play a game without mouse? I don't know. Maybe. You can play it without the keyboard, for sure. Oh my god, stealth weapons. If we don't die, this could be very good. Way to avoid this damage. We jump so we don't take the damage. It's like three scrap, but... Up. Kill this one. I guess I'm selling the defense too. Now I'll buy cloaking. And do this. Now we try to push for clocking three as soon as possible. Fine, it's fine. Good. Send help. This is about to come back. Easy. Okay, a quest. Oh, uh, we can... Okay, please don't be a bitch. That's fine. We can clock those two at the same time. Fine, one damage. Fix this. Stay here. That bomb might go off. 
And now you can move. One, two, three, four. That works. We could get an off for hacking it there. So I think I'm delaying um, getting the clocking up then. This, this has to be fine. Ooh. Okay, they rolled the uh, defensive drones for once. System repair, hmm. That one sucks. Those fires are beautiful. That flock is very beautiful as well. Huh. I'm about to get a bio kill probably here as well. Nah, I will reach the med bay. If those basics were heavy lasers... Crew is very low value. Oh god, we might die here. Oh my fucking god. This run was so good. And now we might be dead. Fuck. I actually lost my... As I said... Very easy to die. You think you won the game? No. And then this happens and you, you really didn't. Shit. Okay. Ooh, when the repairs? That's another thing about FTL. Like, this fight obviously can easily kill you. But then if you get a bit lucky, then you're fine. Just like the previous run, if I get a bit more lucky, I can easily kill the flagship, right? It, it was just one hole. These stores are awful, though. I'm very tempted by drone control, but I think it's a mistake to go for it right now. I mean, it makes hacking more likely. Fuck it, let's get it. Basic laser are better than burst laser for now. Uncharted. Not ideal. Already have piloting level 2. Annoying. Whatever, let's go down. No drones. We go for the fight. It's 
it's okay, it's okay. We can clock this one. It will be 80%, but it's better than nothing. Easy. Yeah, the challenge is not that anymore. This is just shieldless. What happened to shield? I'm using a mod that removes the shields. Like, it keeps the system, otherwise this will be another ship. But it's broken. I don't think Kemis held the record for most consecutive wins. Yeah, we we I, we got the record. Uh, what a few weeks ago, and then I killed my streak because I'm fucking bad. Oh my god. Please. Am I dying here? Probably. Very likely to die here at this point. Hmm. Challenge overlay is up. Oh, I forgot to remove that one. No, don't do that. Don't vent yourself, please. shoulder right upgrade my clocking what if I get a store with hacking at least level two level two seems fine ooh no you really want to avoid the shears with drones That's the primary goal. Avoid the drones. Okay. Check up there. Okay, no drones, they're hacking. I could try to shut it down. Whatever, you can have my sensors, sure. It's even better. Fuck you, please. Like, it, I take the hit, it's in weapons, and I get 50 fires as well? Come on. Game fucking sucks. Why?
I mean... Okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine. Go be above 30 in case the bomb comes back. What's the trick for using offensive drones against anti-drones drones? drones? Uh, you just... Um, depower them very, very quickly. And then, um, at least for combat drones, uh, they can fire twice before the anti-drone fires again. So you can, uh, as long as it fires immediately. If you want to be safe, you, you fire once, then you depower and wait. And then you put it back, uh, you power and depower until it fires again. It's similar to the Akin trick, just slightly different, but it's kind of the same. Uh, you, you want the drones to be depowered when they, it takes the ion damage, because then it doesn't explode. Maybe clocking tree is fine. Can I clock everything? I mean, yes, I can, just like I can take the damage regardless. Fuck you. Like, I could have used the defense drone anyway. Just for extra safety, but I mean, I might need those drone parts for uh, offensive drones later. So I don't want to use it unless I really need to. Oh, yes. Give me free stuff. Okay, here I'm using it though. Nice. Okay, they put that weapon online. That's not nice at all. Can you put the missiles back, please? Okay. Or drop everything. That's also good. Fuck, the star was here. How is the dive? I think it's fine. We just uh, get uh, engines 3 or 4 plus clocking level 3, and we should be okay with a dive. Go here first. I don't think. Ooh, more scrap. And combat two, I guess. So do this. Crop recovery never worth it. No, it's not. I might just sell the basics. They're better than this at the moment. It's also buffer and I keep one up. But I kind of want the scrap. So I can... I mean, I'll start with power. Then I upgrade uh, that. 
the scrap recovery is not worth it because you um, this is a game where you the early game it's usually harder than the late game so you want the scrap immediately you don't want to be greedy with it where are they What if I kill them for fuel? What if I don't? I could have fired one more time during the clocking, by the way. I kind of forgot about my stealth weapons. Fuck. And that's me being greedy. Slugum Nebula. Yeah, it's fine to keep the scrap recovery, but you don't want to buy it. And even if you find it, uh, sometimes it's better to sell it anyway, if you really need the scrap for something. But if you don't, sure, you can keep it and get value out of it. I have to go back to 80 for... Uh, packing. Annoying. Imagine having the basic laser instead. Easy. I'm getting punished for having the burst to on instead of the basics. They're still alive. I need oxygen. I called the upgrade drones to four and played the combat to. Uh, I mean, fuck, let, let's do it. But now I really need scrap before uh, the store. Because if I don't get hacking, I'll die 100% shieldless. I mean, technically it's doable without hacking, but you need what? Okay. What setup do you need to do it to do it without hacking? Like, four flux, double combat two? Or something stupid like that? And stealth weapons? Maybe you can do it that way. I mean, yes, I can. It, you can. Kinda weird, though. Focus weapons now, we have to disable the Albert Beam or we take billions of damage. Okay. I'm surprised I'm still alive without hacking, but I guess I have good weapons. Shit. Oh, 
Before those beams. Okay, thank you. Uh, split them. Uh huh. Well, that can help. We could just transition into beams. We already have all beam. We need hacking. And then maybe we get the one shot. Ooh, this is so bad. Um. Hmm. Shit. Uh, I think I'm fucked. I'm super fucked here. Fix this fucking shit before getting out of here. Blocking isn't cooldown though. Maybe I should have waited a bit longer. I should have definitely waited a bit longer. I don't even have a battery. They're trying. Their evasions seem to suck. Themed. Maybe it's not too bad. Ah, it sucks. Good, good. Still alive, still alive. That was close, though. The best things I can possibly find at the store are Pike Beam and uh, Hacking. What the fuck are the stores? Next one will be better, right? At least Hacking, please. Another flock. Oh, I think. Okay. okay, okay, okay. So, um, it's time, right, to transition into this. I can sell... Both weapons to get the upgrade. Ooh, I need so much. Repair arm. Repair arm is not too bad. Even small bomb is good, because I could go for weapons 8. I think it's too expensive. Is it too expensive? Sort of. Sort of expensive.
It's good though. I'm buying the small bomb, fuck it. So I can play it right now. Then I can get some fuel. And as many repairs as possible. I think this is good enough. I need upgrades though. Blocking ships. Can I kill this one? Yes, I can. We, we shall be fine. That's bad. Am I killing? No, but I'll go for it. Good, good, good. Kill this round no training. Yeah, I don't care about training. Fuck it. I only train when I have a good streak going. Two, three, four. I mean, I could even go for a big dive here. These are not speedy runs, so I call dive. Or just kill them. I could have. They didn't go for the cheeky swipe, I'm bad. So maybe keeping the other one up was better. Kill them fire in time. Yeah, especially this witch. Forty-nine, good. I'm going for a dive, yes. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, uh, whatever. Or do I go from here? Hmm. Many interesting choices. Shit. Yeah, get the fuck out of there. One, two, three. Let's do it. I don't even remember the quest. Oh, this one. Sixty. One, two. Or do I go for that? I feel like uh, uh, beacons inside the nebula are more valuable than the ones outside in the slug sectors, but I'm not sure, on average, what's better. It could be a good distress beacon though, slug, slug sectors have good distress beacons outside of the nebula. So maybe I'll, I'll, I'll go here. Uh, so it can be empty. Fuck you. Fine. Kill this guy. Hmm. 
That's the worst spot. Fuck you. Are they really boarding again? Die. I cannot sell much. So let's try to get more scrap first. Very ship. Bomb is still up, but we shall be okay. Forty one. Can I kill the flagship with what I have? Technically, yes. I mean, obviously you need upgrades. Getting uh, another beam at that store will be so good though. Let's try. Blocking with those weapons and a solar flare. Yay. They even snipe my hacking. But they switch the flock. Well, I want to take another beacon first, but I guess I won't. And also because of fuel. I know fuel was fine. Let me fix everything, then I want to see if there is something interesting next. Because this uh, this sector has a second store. So much repair training. Yeah, but it, it's easy to miss. Oh... Yeah, I think I want to skip her repairs. So I want to upgrade weapons. Play the flock. Yeah, I need the weapons up, small bomb, and then a lot of power for the combat too. And then we are kinda ready. Delay the borders. We clock those two. Easy. 
That repair is also nice, in case we take damage from random events. Or, well, damage randomly anyway. Uh... How bad is this fight? It's just this thing, right? I'm going for the fight. It, it's only this one. I mean, I can lose my... Locking, though. Like, it could get ironed. Good scrub, good scrub. I have to be careful with drone parts. Especially if I want to use that combat drone uh, every phase of the flagship. And I do. Beam. Okay, fuck you. That, not that beam, please. The second combat drone will be nice, but there is no way I will have that scrub to play double combat drone. What if, though? Drone 6? Ah. Huh. I mean, it's actually possible. Hmm. Do I go for it? It's way better than the small bomb. And I might be able to play both anyway. Uh, it's so expensive. Okay, uh, let's count. 105... Plus... Probably 150 for power bars. I think I need 3 400 scrap. Considering I have 1, 2, 3, 4 beacons here, then the entire sector 8, it's possible. I'm going for it. Do I sell the defense drone right now? Slightly greedy, but I think I'm doing it. Now, buying drone parts or relying on uh, repair stations? I think I'll rely on repair stations. Actually, I'll buy, I'll buy two of them. And, I mean, I'm, I'm still doing this. I will get this crop later. Okay, no, uh, no clocking at the list. I did it too late. This is so bad. This is not greedy, it's fine, don't worry. It's fine, it's fine. Ooh. 
slave beam. Um. I mean, that's a one shot. It's scary for phase three with the glaive. This way, keep the flock there for emergency. I don't know. I really need repair stations, though. Fuck. Please, why? It, I I don't even know what the fuck to say. How can this be so shit? I have no comments. We are killing as long as we don't get a resist. Please don't be a first fight. Oh my god. Okay, thank god I can skip it. Fuck me. I don't even know how many hits I took into weapons. With fires, through clocking. And there is not even such thing as uh, late clocking because I'm playing no shields. So they hit register literally on top of the room. SB can be first fights. Um, they can be something like uh, there is a, the you can get the fuel station, and even if you skip the fight, there is a chance of getting it. So technically, it could be. Outpost, yes. I really want the repair station. Outside of that one, I'm not sure. Cash. Don't lock weapons. Don't you fucking dare, heavy laser, but I have to wait. Thank you. Can I teleport to the base, please? Because I think I'm confident against the flagship, but I don't know the fights before the flagship. Okay. Random pre-igniter here. No, that's not a pre-igniter, that's fucking an auto assault. With beam drones. That's definitely not a pre-igniter. Shit. Ugh. Uh, 
I'm very surprised I didn't take any damage here. Drone recovery, no. You f fuck. Ah, please. Engines. The problem is that I, I have to jump into the base with clocking on cooldown. Fuck. Well, I have to. to clock it's very early let's wait for the cooldown a bit I mean it's not even uh, I have to kill those two guys though but it, it's fine I need to to wait oh, as long as possible That should be enough. Am I resetting what? Weapon suck? I think I have to reset weapon suck. Yes, replace the save file. Why does it consider the save file the one as before since we jumped? Uh, sector 8, I think it's kind of fucky for the save files, I guess. I'm resetting. Uh... Yeah, I'm resetting um... weapons. I think I take uh, anything else. You fuck. The bomber was unnecessary, but it's okay. That's a lot of damage. Ooh. I don't know what to do phase 2 though Because Glaive is so fucking slow I don't know if it's, the, it's better to pre-clock or to wait for the for the drones. I think pre-clocking might be better. You're dead if the drone surge hits you. Yes, but if you lose critical systems you die anyway, even before the power surge. Because 
Um, if I pre-clock, I have 15 seconds of clocking, and that's guaranteed. If I don't, my clocking could be level 2, level 1, or even destroyed before I can even clock. At least if I pre-clock, I, I have the, those 15 seconds and they're guaranteed. Weapons training. Weapons training is full. But my main concern is... Uh, Taking as less damage as possible before I go off, because if I go off, the, the flagship is dead. Like, if I wait for the power surge, I might take 10, 15 damage, and it's not even about the damage, it's about losing hacking, losing clocking, taking more damage in weapons, losing drones. Try to see what the drones are targeting. It's very hard on a pause against both a combat drone and a, and a beam drone. I think pre-clocking is better. I, I tested this kind of stuff multiple times with the uh, previous save files. And... Uh, pre-clocking seems always better. I tested with other setups. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I think that's the best play. Because the, the issue of waiting for the drone surge is that you might take too much critical damage. At least with the pre-clock I have 15 guaranteed seconds of not taking damage. I have a buffer point in weapons. Which, I mean, it's not much, but it's something. I have those two drones and combat two buffer points for the combat too. What else can I get with my scrap, by the way? It could either be doors or more power. More power seems fine. But yeah, I think I'm going for the pre-clock. We're going here first though. Thirty-nine scrap. Doors, more power. I like more power. Yeah, this will be... This will be close. But I'm pre-clocking. Yeah. Yeah, so I lost the hacking immediately. If you don't pre-clock, this is the damage that I took in a few in a few seconds without clocking. Lost hacking, that would have been awful already. One damage into weapons and that's fine because we have the buffer for the beams. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure pre-clocking is just almost always the play here. And you, you can still delay the clocking by a few seconds, because the drones uh, are moving a little bit before firing. Okay, now though... Now it's the fun part. I can get the, I don't know, sensors I guess. Or oxygen. I kinda like sensors. Anything else? Heals, maybe. I will go for doors if I had more scrap. Okay, let's play around the mind control, so... We can also do this. To vent from here in case we get borders there. I think this guy is... 
up here are fine. No, I'll keep the mantis there. This guy's here. Are we ready? No, I need to do something else. Which is drop the power for the... For the drones. Let's go. Okay, then I control the pilot, good. That's not ideal. This is fine. Yay. A mess. The fire in drones was pretty shit. Almost crew killed. Nah. The, the fire in drones kind of fucked me. Because I was supposed to remove the Zoltan shields with the drones. And then you can just swipe to kill. Pretty good round though, we got everything we wanted. I mean... We got the... what we needed. Pretty nice.